Have you been experiencing problems with your Fujifilm camera where it just automatically keeps going back to the factory settings? Hi guys, I'm Erin and I am here to give you a long-awaited update on my Fujifilm X-T3 mysterious reset problem. Now, a couple of months ago, I put out a video about how to troubleshoot this issue, which you can go ahead and check out over here if you would like. In this video, though, I want to go a little bit deeper into what the actual problem is, what could be causing the problem, and how you can troubleshoot it so that you can preserve the life of your Fuji film camera. Also, I have discovered that this is not a problem just with the X-T3, but also applies to some other cameras, perhaps the X-T30, or I have seen problems with the battery draining really fast on the X-T5. If you experience any of these problems with your Fujifilm camera, this information could be very helpful for you as well. So stick around and I will tell you what I discovered. So first things first, what is the actual problem? Inside your camera, there is an internal battery which helps keep the settings and preserve your camera when it's turned off or when there's no battery in it so that when you put the battery back in it, it works again and your settings aren't lost. So this mysterious reset factor seems to be a problem with the internal battery of your camera failing. I find this very interesting because I shot with a Nikon D90 for many, many years and I never experienced this kind of problem. And here I have this Fujifilm camera for less than three years and it started giving me a lot of trouble. Now, there are a few things that could be contributing to your internal battery failure problems. Part of the problem is if you are using a lot of third-party batteries and not actual Fujifilm batteries. It seems that the camera doesn't really like these batteries and can lead to the internal battery dying a lot quicker in the long run. Of course, I'm guilty of this. I use third-party batteries with my Fuji camera all the time. And I have noticed that since I've been using them, the batteries die really quickly. Other contributing factors could be letting your camera sit for a really long period of time, uncharged or without a battery inside. Also, if you let your battery charge drop below a certain point, it could also cause problems with your internal battery failure. Also, cold weather and cameras don't go very well together. The cold weather can also cause the batteries to die much quicker. And also you wanna make sure that there's no dirt inside the camera or on the terminals of the battery. So that could also cause some problems in the long run. And of course, there is the age of the batteries. If you've been using the same batteries in your camera for quite some time, it might be worth the investment to get new fresh batteries to use with your camera. Some of the signs that you might be having this problem with your camera is that it resets at random. It resets, especially if you're taking the batteries out while the camera's still on, perhaps you're in the middle of a shoot and it just keeps going back to the factory settings. And the other sign is if your batteries are draining really, really fast without even using the camera. This is a problem with my camera, for example. I put a battery in it. I might not have used it or anything, but when I turn it back on, the battery life is already to 50 or 75% and doesn't hold a charge for very long. It seems that my internal battery is sucking the life out of the batteries I put into the camera. So let's talk about some of the ways in which you can troubleshoot the issue. Number one is what I talked about in my last video, which is to make sure that you turn off your camera completely before you remove the batteries. This can help keep your camera from resetting every time you remove the batteries. Additionally, as I mentioned before, buy Fuji batteries. This will preserve the internal battery life and also hold a charge better than if you're using third-party batteries. So although it sucks because it's more expensive, just buy the Fuji batteries. And lastly, you can also charge the internal battery in your camera directly by plugging it in to your computer using a USB-C cord. And although this last tip is not technical in nature, I suggest showing your beautiful Fuji camera a little bit more love. I know it sounds really funny, but uh, someone did point out to me that I was very frustrated with my camera and saying, ah, oh, I hate this camera. I can't wait to get a new camera. I was complaining and complaining and complaining. And I have noticed that as I stopped complaining so much and trying to show it a little bit more love and appreciation for what it does for me, since I cannot afford the money to buy a new camera at the moment, it has seemed that my problem is not occurring quite as often. 
Who knows, maybe it's just me. So I suggest maybe showing your camera a little bit more gratefulness and love and appreciation for what it's doing for you. And perhaps you will feel a little bit less frustrated with the fact that it keeps restarting on you. Now regarding my camera and my setup, what I usually do is I have my charger next to the door and every time I'm leaving my house with the camera, I replace the battery. So I'm taking my camera out quite often and I just keep cycling through the batteries so that it always has a battery that's freshly charged inside the camera before I use it. This is especially because I've seen the camera battery dying without me even using it. So it just helps to have a fresh battery in there or to take another fresh battery with you, especially if you're using third party batteries, which seem to drain much faster. So that could help you a lot. Just make sure you're always changing out that battery. If you're gonna leave it sitting for a while, also check the battery life a little bit here and there just to make sure that it's not having problems. And the other thing I really wanted to tell you when it came to this video was I wanted to be able to give you an exact price of how much it would cost to get the internal battery fixed in your camera. The truth is I have asked around, I can't get a good price on it or get any information about it. I'm in the process of trying to find out from Fuji. So if and when I do hear back from them, I will be sure to include that in the description below. My personal opinion when it comes to fixing the camera, I'm not completely sure it's worth it. I find that just using all of these tips that I just shared with you to troubleshoot it seems as though it's been preserving the life of the camera. And not to mention that these newer models that are coming out are much better. They have image stabilization. They seem to have a different type of battery being used for them, perhaps even a longer battery life. So I do eventually hope to upgrade this camera. And until then, I'm just trying to do the troubleshooting things that I've mentioned and to show it a little bit more love and appreciation until I have the money to be able to invest in that new camera. Of course, if you are experiencing any of these problems with your camera, whether it's an X-T3 or not, I would love to hear about it. So if you could go ahead and put your comments and questions in the comment section below, I would greatly appreciate it. In the meantime, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it with others, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss another video from me. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Erin. Happy shooting.